Hello guys, this is Damian from forexbolt.com and if you're watching to this video, this means that you have just got your forex trading calculator from forexbolt.com. So now I'm creating this video to show you how to use this calculator and how to take advantage of the information provided inside. Notice that there are eight white fields inside. However, you're able to modify only the white field that is located in the upper left corner of your forex calculator. You will be able to type in your information over there and the other fields will do the calculations by themselves. So, as you see, the white space that is in the upper left corner has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 fields. So, if you add accurately the information requested by these 9 fields, you will be able to get a lot of information about your trading strategy and the respective trade you're willing to take. So now let me show you how it works. Let's say you have an account of $1,000. This means that in enter your account size bankroll, you need to add 1000 The next field asks you about the leverage you're using. Let's say we're using 1 to 50 leverage, meaning that we're adding 50 in the next field. And I press enter. The next field asks you about the investment, the percentage investment you're putting in a single trade based on your bankroll. So if you're, for example, willing to invest 30% of your bankroll in each of your trades, this means that you need to add 30 and the percentage counts by itself. Then you need to ask the maximum risk you're willing to take in each of your trades. Let's say 1%, adding 1. Then you need to add in your strategy success rate. Notice that the success rate of your strategy is something that is very subjective because in order to attain a very accurate percentage of your strategy success rate, you should have tested your strategy many 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 times so have this in mind so if you're willing to put a number here make sure you really have like a picture of what is your approximate success rate in our case let's add mm, let's add 60 percent success rate then you need to put your target based on the risk you're willing to take remember the loss to win ratio some people use a loss to win ratio of 1 to 2, other aim for 1 to 3, but these are like very brave targets. Let's put in our case 1 to 1.5 loss to win ratio, meaning that you need to put over here 1.5. Enter. Now we see that some of the fields have already appeared on the chart. Then you need to click over here and to choose the type of the trade you're taking. Is it a long trade or is it a short trade? If it's a long trade, you need to click at buy. If it's a short trade, you click at sell. In our case, I'm going to choose a long trade, meaning that I'm going to click at buy. Then you need to add the entry price at which you're buying the, the respective forex pair. Because in our case, we chose the buy value. This is why I'm referring to buying. Let's say we're buying the euro dollar at 1.12, which is a pretty, pretty like uh, adequate level since having in mind the current price of the euro dollar. And then the last field you need to fill in is the spread that your broker is charging you for your trade. Let's say 1.5 pips spread of the trade that you're taking. Now the calculator has created everything else by itself. First, we see that our total buying power, having in mind the leverage and our account size, is $50,000. The buying power of our single investment is $15,000 based on the 30% that we're investing from our bankroll in each of our trades, in each of our trades and the 1 to 50 leverage we're taking. Total risk from bankroll refers to the amount of money you're risking in each trade. So if you're referring to dollars, this means that 1% risk per trade will limit your loss to $10 per trade. 
since we added our success rate, strategy success rate at 60%, this means that we have a strategy failure rate at 40%. Then we have suggestions where to put our stop loss and take profit levels. So we will stick to the strategy we have just added. So if we're buying the euro dollar at 1.12 with 1.5% uh, with 1.5 pip spread and having all the other rules over here uh, about our account, like the account size of 1000, 1 to 50 leverage, the 30% investment in a single trade, 1% risk, 60% strategy success rate, and the targets based on the loss to win ratio at 1.5. This means that our stop loss should go at 1.1192 approximately, and our take profit order should go at 1.12. 13 approximately meaning that if you put your levels over there you will stick to the strategy you have just entered in this box right over here the further information about the levels says that your stop loss order is at 0.07 percent distance from your entry price meaning that the difference between 1.12 the entry price and the stop loss at 1.1192 equals to 0.07% or expressed in pips. This is 7.47 pips or approximately almost 8 pips. The loss from a losing trade will equal to $10 as stated by the 1% rule from the, minimum, from the maximum risk we're willing to take. And at the same time, your take profit order will be at 12.70 pips distance. And this is all created by the calculator by itself. If we take 100 trades projection over here, and if we implement this exact strategy with all these rules in 100 trades, we will attain a gross profit of $900, a loss of $600, here it is, and a net profit of $300, which is the difference between the gross profit and the loss. If we implement this strategy for more than 100 trades, for example, 200 trades over here, we will see that after 200 trades, our account will be $1,690. After 300 trades, the account will be $2,197. After 400 trades, the account will be $2,856. And at the bottom right box, we see the percentage growth of our account based on 100 trades, meaning that if you manage to implement these strategy rules over here on 100 trades, your account will be growing by 30% in every 100 trades. And this chart at the top right corner gives you the approximate growth of your account based on the 400 trades over here taken with this strategy parameters. So I hope this sounds exciting to you and you are satisfied with the bonus you have received. I believe this is a very useful tool that will give you a better picture of what you're dealing with concerning your forex strategy and trade intentions. So thank you very much for watching and may the trend be with you.